Hey y'all, so today I'll be showing you a couple different ways you can install and style clip-ins. So shout out to Betterlink, they sent me one pack of their kinky coarse clip-ins in 14 inches and here's the hair, like it is so soft, I don't know why I was expecting it to be like, you know, rough or whatever, but it feels like hair, like natural hair that was just deep conditioned, it just feels so luscious and it's so full of course. And I'm going to just show you um, how many clip-ins come in one pack, there's two of each size. There's five different sizes as I'm showing you now. So in a total, they give you 10 clip-ins and one pack. And they also give you a couple extra clips and some thread, which is really nice. So I just want to show y'all a couple different ways you can install clip-ins. The first way that I'm doing now is just blending with my natural hair. Basically just going row by row, putting the clip in there, super, super easy. So you just want to stick the clip in and you can really just press it down and the clip closes. Super simple, right? So I'll just be doing this up to the top of my head. And as for my natural hair, I have it straightened on low heat because I wanted to maintain like a blowout look, but I still wanted it like straight. So I'll also be going and straightening the hair and I'll show y'all how this hair turns out straight. These clip-ins blended in with my hair really well, other than the fact that my hair is a little bit lighter because my hair did get, you know, super bleached from the sun this summer. But other than that, it's blending in really good. Like, it looks just like my hair after I blow dry it. And it's just feeling super natural. You could go ahead and style it from here or just wear it like this. I actually think this is a really cute look, just like the whole poofy. I, I just, I love big hair. So, you can style it here, but I'm going to go ahead and straighten it for you guys. So, I'm using the Argon Oil. You can find this at Walmart. And I really like this stuff because it just coats hair, especially coarse hair. It coats the hair really well before straightening. And I'm using my Conair Pro Tamerline Series Flat Irons. I really like these for weave because they go all the way up to 450 degrees, as you can see. And it gets, you know, it just gets weave really bone straight. And this hair is straightened out really nicely. I like that it still maintains you know that texture because it just looks so natural you don't get a silky look you get like a nice yakky straight natural look so I'm really really feeling that So here's the hair, one side is straightened and the other side is still in its natural state. So I used one, uh, one full pack for my head and I actually had like a little clip in left over so one pack definitely does the job. So here's the second way to install clip-ins. This is like the super easy way, y'all know I love me some easy. So if you like me, then you'll really enjoy, you know, learning how to put your clip-ins like this. So I'm first styling the hair while it's off of my head. This makes it easy for me to control the hair. It makes it easy for me to see everything, obviously. So I, so I just pin the clip-ins to my foam head and I'm doing curls with my um, curling wand. And as you can see, the curls, oh my God, came out so pretty. It holds the curl really well because it's that kinky texture. So so, you know, it grabs all of that heat and oh my God, I just was in love with these curls. So 
for this install, I'm gonna be doing it kind of like a quick weave with clip-ins, but um, so I'm gonna be leaving out the front portion of my hair. I'm kind of doing like a little flip over method, kind of like a little half wig look. So I'm just um, leaving out that front section of my hair to blend in with the clip-ins. And then I'll be putting the rest of my hair into a ponytail, just like, you know, I'm about to do a quick weave. So I'm using my Especially Hair Moisture Foundation to go ahead and moisturize my hair and plop it into my ponytail. Now you definitely want to make sure that you uh, heavily moisturize your hair if you choose to install your clip-ins this way. Just so your hair can be protected because the wefts will be directly on top of your hair. So I'm just going to put that into a ponytail and put it in a bun so that my ends can be nice and tucked away. So it's the same easy steps, you just put the clips in and snap them so they can close, but this time you're just doing it on top of your hair rather than blending it, you know, all throughout your hair. I chose to do mine this way just because I wanted my hair to be protected and I wanted to wear the clip ends curled and I really didn't want to curl my hair. But you can do it either way and still get a bomb look. And I know in another video I did my clip ends like this but I had my hair braided in the back. But I like this way even better because it was way less tension on my hair. And they just, I don't know, they stuck easier to my hair I feel like with it, with it just being, you know, pushed back into a ponytail. So towards the top, I just started making them into like a horseshoe motion, just so it could be parallel with my leave out, and that way my hair can blend in with the clip-ins. So y'all, this is my favorite edge control, Hicks Edges. You can find it at Walmart or your local beauty supply store. But um, I'm just using this to like slick my hair back and you know, lay my baby hairs out, get all cute or whatever, finish up the look. And that's about it. This literally took me like 15 minutes. Like it was so easy to do. Basically just putting your hair into a ponytail, clipping something on top of it and voila, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the final look that you will see in a minute. And if you did, make sure to give me a little thumbs up and I will talk to y'all in another video. Thank you.